Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and I have Alana with me. And today we're gonna show you how to adjust your bike to your body. Okay, so today we're gonna show you how to adjust your bike to your body. Now, for most 630 bikes and um, some other bikes on the market, You'll only need two tools. Now the beauty of 630 bikes is that they're set up to be fully adjusted and customized to your body. It's a really unique feature. So you can dial in the adjustments so it feels great for you in any way that you want. So I have Alana here and we have the Every Journey women's bike. Now all the 630 bikes are actually set up the same way with four adjustment points. I'll walk you through them real quick. You have your stem height here, and there's a bolt on top that can be adjusted with a six millimeter. That will raise or lower the stem. You have another bolt um, on the stem here that holds the handlebars in place. That can be adjusted to, or sorry, loosened or tightened, and that will be loosened to adjust the tilt of the handlebars. And that's also the six millimeter. Now, as we come to the seat, you have a quick release that will allow the seat to go up and down. You simply pull the lever and the seat can slide up and down. And then the fourth and final adjustment point is actually the tilt of the seat, which can be adjusted by loosening these two bolts on the seat hardware on either side, which will give you the freedom to tilt the seat as you see fit. Now, the benefit of this is it really allows you to not only adjust for proper leg extension and efficiency, but also comfort as you see fit. So, Alana is five foot one. We'll just move through the adjustments with you till we finally get the bike in the perfect position for you. In this case, we're gonna just try to adjust for overall comfort, what feels good for her. And in some cases, it really is trial and error. And the beauty of it is, with how simple it is to adjust, you can ride the bike a few miles, come back home, make some adjustments till you finally dial it in. And like I said, you only need two tools. Um, and this is a 14 millimeter tool, which will be the adjustment for the tilt of the seat. And if you go and download our app, you can actually, after you register your bike, you can go into the app, put in your inseam or your height, and we will recommend the seat height or the stem height. Actually, we'll recommend the seat height and the stem height and those adjustments will tell you what we believe to be the most efficient adjustments. And the tilt of the seat and the handlebars is really up to you from a comfort standpoint. Also, the seat height and the stem height are also up to you from a comfort standpoint, but we're giving you our best recommendation on those. So, let's start with the seat height. Now, we know Alana is not going to be able to ride on this height. So, let's just lower that down a little bit here. And... Let me move out of the way. You can see very simply, bring the seat up and down. When you find your desired height, go ahead and clamp the seat post. And it's just that easy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so she's she likes that height. So now we are good on the seat height. Now let's go to the seat tilt. How did you feel about the tilt? Huh. Even if she does like it, we're gonna show you how it can be adjusted. Um. It feels fine. Okay. So in certain, with certain seats on certain bikes, the tilt kind of matters because the type of seat um, generally is designed to be tilted a certain way. But again, it's all about what feels comfortable to, for you. So when we have a bucket saddle, like on a 630 seat, you typically want a little bit of tilting back. And what this does is it allows you to kind of slide in and this bucket part will cup your rear and it makes it a little more comfortable. If you have this seat tilted forward, sometimes it can feel like you're sliding off the seat or you're not getting properly um, supported. If you have a more flat seat that doesn't have a bucket, then you want to adjust it for a perfect flatness actually, really no tilt because if you start tilting those, it's going to feel like it's um, coming into your body a little too much. So let me just show you how you do this. Simply, I have a uh, ratcheting 14 millimeter. You just put it onto these bolts right here under the seat. You'll loosen and you'll try to just do a couple, couple, um, 
couple of uh, loosening. Oh, that's sorry. That's tightening on that side. You want to make sure you loosen it about even on both sides, and then same when you tighten it. Okay, so now you can see I've got the freedom. You can see this is about as far forward as of the tilt as it can go, and then we can get it all the way back here on the tilt. So, Alana, if you want to kind of just obviously don't put your full weight. So what you can do is try to stand over the seat and just get a feel if you kind of lower down how it feels. I think maybe like one notch forward forward yeah okay there you go it's one notch forward want me to just lock that in then yeah i think so okay so now we will just come back make sure that the nose of the seat lines up to the down tube of the bike so it's totally straight although you can always um, adjust with the seat clamp here as well so I do a few tightening. Okay, now tighten on this side as well. And you wanna make sure that this bolt is definitely secure because if you don't secure it, what's gonna happen is when you're riding, you're gonna feel that seat either tilt forward or tilt back. And sometimes that can be a very unpleasant experience. So just make sure, really crank that down and then give it a couple wiggles and then give that a try. Yeah, feels good. Okay, perfect. All right, so you can stay there, oh. stay on the bike. Okay, so now moving up to the handlebars, again, we have our six millimeter. It's a very simple adjustment. What's what makes 630 bikes and e-bikes honestly such an ease or so easy is these four custom adjustment points are so simple and you can virtually adjust for any body type. Okay, so what I like to do sometimes is if you have a partner with you, which is why I have Alana, if you have a partner, it makes it a little bit easier to make this adjustments. You don't need a partner. Um, but what I like to do is have her, so kind of just put this cap down here. You kind of just raise and lower the handlebars as you see fit. You want them higher? No, I think okay. that's good. Okay. I also like to look at a couple things when I'm personally sizing. If you're adjusting for comfort, I want to look at the bend in the arm and the wrist. I try to avoid any kinking in the wrist because you're going to feel that kind of, it's going to be painful over time if your wrists are kinked upwards or downwards in any extreme fashion. I also like to see the elbows and the arms relax so you can tell they're not putting tension on their arms. And then you also want to obviously get the rider's opinion or, or your own opinion. Whatever feels good, feels good. And you can always make changes later. That's important to remember. Nothing is permanent. So this is another important bolt to just make sure you get very secure. Okay. Now from there, we have our final adjustment, one, which this one is even more important to have a partner, or I really like to, because um, with the stem height, it doesn't tend to move as much. You can find the height and kind of try it. But in this case, oops, which way am I going here? There we go. Okay. So now, okay, so you can see, let's just show them for example. I mean, you can really do what you like here, right? But you're not gonna want them to be like that, but it gives you a lot of uh, creativity in how you want to adjust. <laughs> so what I like to do is have Lana do exactly what she's doing. She can find the desired angle, which is probably about where it was, <laughs> and then have your partner come in and tighten it down. And actually, this is one of the most important bolts on the bike. You really want to make sure this is very tight because when you're riding, you're putting a lot of downward momentum if you're going up hills and things, and this is the bolt that's gonna keep these handlebars locked in place. So if you're going up a hill and you're pushing down and this is not tight, you're gonna fall down and maybe hit your face on the handlebar. So just make sure you use a really good Allen key, sorry, and you get it tight so it's not gonna move anywhere. So there we have it. 
perfectly adjusted and custom fit to Alana's body at the four 630 custom adjustment points, seat height, seat tilt, handlebar height, and handlebar tilt. So if you're interested in getting an e-bike or a bike and you're concerned about having fitting your body or being comfortable, just know with 630 you have four adjustment points. Or if you already have your 630 bike and you haven't tried to adjust all four of these points, give it a try. You can really dial in your bike and have it be comfortable. And keep these tools on hand, which is a 14 millimeter wrench and a six millimeter Allen key. And you can always make adjustments as you go, or if something feels painful, make a slight adjustment until you finally find what's perfect for your body and your riding habits. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And don't forget, if you haven't already, take our body fit quiz on our website. Our proprietary algorithm will take your body style and your riding habits and find the perfect bike for you. And then once you get your bike, download the app and that app will show you the adjustments to make on that bike for you. So multiple levels and algorithms to help perfectly fitting your bike to your body. So we ensure you love your bike when you get it. And just to prove that even more, we have a 365 day return policy. We call it our test ride your bike policy on all standard bikes and 90 day test ride your bike policy on e-bikes. So if you don't love your bike, send it back, no questions asked and no money out of your pocket. And don't forget, be a part of the community with both the app and our peddlers group on Facebook. Share photos of your rides, of your bike, meet other riders and compete on our app leaderboard for weekly and monthly giveaways. It's a lot of fun. All right, thanks for sticking around and thanks Alana for the help. And don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.